We're going to have a demonstration now from the winner of the Free From Eating Out Awards 2015. This is the overall winner. This is not just the winner of the restaurant category, which they were last year. This is the winner of the, the total winner of the Free From Eating Out Awards 2015. It's Oscar and Bentley's restaurant in Canterbury. Anybody around the Canterbury area? If you are, you should definitely be going there. A totally gluten-free restaurant, but which really focuses on allergies. We've got Mark Kennett, who is the head chef at Oscar and Bentley's. Oh, yes. We're just going to let him get started over here. We're not going to interrupt him for a minute, because I can see he's got all those, those ingredients over there. So we just want him to get sorted. He's going to do this wonderful Gurkha curry with lemon rice and naan bread. So we don't want to interrupt him. But I'm going to ask Sarah to tell us a bit more about the, res about the restaurant. Um, I, you found that it's really been a change. I mean, the number of people coming to you with allergies over the last two or three years has increased. Yes, massively. Um, we set out as gluten-free restaurant only and quickly discovered that lots and lots of people have other allergens. We now have a gluten-free menu and a <coughs> gluten-dairy-free menu but we can incorporate any of the major allergens into our food, plus a couple which aren't considered major. I mean, garlic and onion are quite biggies that aren't part of the legislation, but actually probably should be. And what, what is it that, that, you know, when people come to you as an allergen-free restaurant, is it because they feel safe? Is it because your food is fantastic? Mm -hmm. Is it because they've had a really horrible time elsewhere? I think it's a combination of things. I think the safety issue is a massive thing. They know that we take allergens seriously. They know that we are incredibly careful in how we run the kitchens. Um, our front of house staff are very knowledgeable. So they're not asking somebody who's got a blank look on their face. They're asking somebody who's intelligent, who understands what allergens are, understands their allergens, the problems they might have, and knows our food. And so they can get advice from somebody who's really enthused by what we're doing. And I think that makes a massive difference as well. Don't stay there, don't go away. I want okay. to go see what Mark's yep. doing. Um, okay, Mark, what's, can you develop, briefly tell me what's in each saucepan? Oh, crikey. Okay. We've, uh, <coughs> just at the front here, we've got uh, our uh, vegan naan bread. Wow. Can you see all this, guys, the vegan naan bread? It's lovely. Uh, the so smell up here is fantastic. Wow. So basically in there we've got some uh, nigella seeds or black onion seeds which you find traditionally in the uh, naan breads. Mm -hmm. um, but to make it completely vegan and gluten free we've, we've used uh, a blend of self-raising gluten free flour but normally yeah. it would be a, a, an unleavened bread. Yeah. That looks <coughs> good doesn't it? That's Already yeah it's, it's starting to take shape and colour. And is that is that whole cinnamon you've got in there? Uh, it's a whole cinnamon stick in there. Yep. We've got um, ground fennel, cumin, coriander, um, chili powder. And now you're, you're frying that more or less dry. Is that right? It's, there's a tiny amount of oil in there, but yeah. uh, we, we like to uh, you know keep food healthy, so we're just sweating that down. Yeah. And of course, that doing that brings all the flavours out of the spices. It, indeed, it? yes. I mean, yep. it's, I've pre-dried all the uh, spices to release yep. the natural oils, so. <coughs> helps uh, all bring it all together. So is it, would you normally do that? Would you dry out your spices before yeah, you Yeah, I mean, I dry fry the spices individually so you can smell the aroma. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, put them to one side, then do the next one and so on and so forth. So, because it's Gurkha curry with lemon rice and naan bread. Naan bread is already cooking there. The lemon rice. Yeah, so you've got cashew nuts, curry leaves, mustard seeds, gram lentils, split lentils, turmeric, lemon, sunflower, oil and salt. So, I mean, it's, uh, the, just the rice on its own, to be honest, is going to be quite tasty, isn't it? Who needs the curry? Just have the rice. Uh, that's fantastic. And then we've got, ooh, the masala paste. Onions, ginger, cardamom pods, garlic, fennel seeds, hot chili powder, ground cumin, ground coriander, and lots of it too, isn't there? Oh, indeed. Uh, yeah, there's this plenty of uh, traditional herbs and spices. Yeah. I mean, we're talking <coughs> about three tees teaspoonfuls of cumin and three tea spoonfuls of ground coriander that's really a lot and then again a cinnamon stick cloves more cumin and you're using coconut cream and coconut uh, milk i see yeah i'm using uh, coconut uh, cream and milk in the uh, the naan bread to uh, make it vegan um 
Sweating over here, off our aerobic in five, ten minutes, and a, a very light uh, bit of oil and uh, onion and all our yeah. spices you mentioned earlier. Yeah. Uh, we've cooked that down. We've uh, just added some uh, chopped tomatoes, sweated those off. Right. Uh, to release the uh, the water from them and just just bubbling away nicely there with some coconut milk. Yeah. Um, I've started making some uh, more naan breads uh, to right. keep them nice and soft and pliable. Yeah. Uh, just a damp cloth a damp. over there. Yep. And so this, this is just the rice that's cooking away that, here nice. That's yep. the rice bubbling away there. Yeah. So we've got uh, <coughs> all our spices, Lovely. turmeric and yep. lentils in there. Yep. Give it a nice bit of texture rather than just a stand, standard yep. uh, rice. Yeah. So, so were you, uh, a, a, you're not a vegetarian, presumably, or no, a vegan or No, far from like it. <laughs> <laughs> Serious um, meat eater we've got here. Yeah, um, yes, but you know, as Sarah mentioned earlier, you know, um, we, we developed the food in stages, and you know, as she, again she said, um, just briefly, we got a good uh, basis for your your uh, food products being vegan. Um, you know, you, you can adapt into that. And yeah. you, you take things uh, out where possible, and uh, we build our menu and in dishes in layers. Mm. You know, so we cook everything fresh to order using fresh ingredients. So mm. we've got free reign over everything that we do. What are you doing there? Um, I've got um, three types of lentils here. Right. Um, I've, they've been pre-washed, blanched and cooked. Wow. Um, we've got uh, black lentils. Yeah. Uh, red lentils and yellow sweet peas. Or no, th lentils. those are not black puy lentils, or are they? No. No, uh, different ones. Puy lentils. No, these are bulgur lentils. Oh. Which uh, actually, before they cook, they actually like almost jet black in colour. Yeah. But now the pie lentils, um, as you, uh, you mentioned, uh, the, you don't actually need to pre-cook those. You can just mm. cook them straight off. Wow. And they presumably have quite different flavours, the different colours. And yeah, the, the I mean, it gives it... You know, and different, different textures. Gives it a good amount of texture there. You know, so yeah. uh, you've got lots of uh, different colours as well going on there. You know, there's a lot of people, you know, and as you do, you eat with your eyes. Oh, you do. You're so right. You know, if something looks wonderful, it's, it's going to taste... You know, it's got to be really, really horrible. For it, if it get over that initial impression that it's going to taste wonderful, doesn't it? That's it's so it. important. So, and that Indeed. looks yeah, well. You can see it, or you can see on the cameras there. Look at that lovely yellow rice. There we go. You, you're saying about cooking everything from fresh. Mm. It's so interesting that you know, when people start, they, they find themselves with a problem. They start, find that they can no longer do gluten or whatever they can do. One of the first things they actually have to do is to go back and cook from scratch. It you know, is. and use fresh ingredients. And it just it makes such a fantastic difference, doesn't it? It does indeed. Um, you know, it's, we started putting a lot of um, recipes out online and do a lot of research yeah. because I don't actually suffer from any major allergens, nor does Sarah. So mm. you have to go into the field and talk to these people. Mm. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, self-help forums yeah. on social media mm. these days. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we get a lot of inspiration from people like that. Yeah. And every now and then we give a little bit back by dropping your recipe here and yeah. there. Yeah. Well, it is, of course, it's how most of the free from food businesses that are now operational in this country, how they started. Yeah. Because, you know, in fact, our, our next chef coming out, Catherine, she started because she was gluten intolerant, so she couldn't get any decent baked goods, so she started making her own. And that's how, you know, even big companies, people like Dove's Farm Flour, you know, they started because Claire Marriage's mum was celiac. And, you know, we're talking way back in the day now when actually you could get nothing, absolutely nothing that you would want to eat as a celiac. Uh, and so she, that was how she started getting involved in, in Free From Food. Uh, so it's really, really interesting the way it's developed. Did you ever think you were going to be cooking all this allergy-free food when you were no, trading? No, definitely I bet you not, didn't. definitely not. You know, um, I was saying to Sarah and Catherine um, a couple of days ago, if you told me two and a half years ago, three years ago, that, uh, yeah, you're going to be at the Free Film Awards, <coughs> you're going to win a national major award. <laughs> um, I, I would For say, yeah, allergen -free you, food? you need to what? take your medication. Yeah. <laughs> or if you're not, you need to take some. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, so you have to go back to basics, mm. relearn how to cook. Mm. Mm. And, you know, that's still what drives me today to still work for Sarah and Catherine, yeah. is uh, being driven to find out how's that work, mm. how can you make that work, how can we make that taste mm. and look like normal food. Yeah. Yeah, like really good normal food, really not good just normal, normal food. food. Yeah. yeah, really good exactly, normal yeah. food. Yeah. It, it's really interesting. Is since we started, you know, since the legislation came in a year ago, and there was a major panic throughout the food industry, as I'm sure you're very well aware, you're both very well aware, that, that everyone kind of freaked out. Oh my, you know, obviously some people had already got their heads around it, but an awful lot of people kind of freaked out. Oh, why are we going to deal with this? You know, we don't know. It's restricting our, our creativity. You know, it's all going to be horrible. 
But over the course of the year, it's amazing how many people have, have kind of stood back and thought, well, hang on a second, this, this can't be that difficult. We're using fresh food. We know what the 14 major allergens are. Um, and have started to find it really a challenge, a really yeah, exciting it challenge. Is. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's very good, you know, to write to the challenge. Mm. And, uh, you know, it's how far you can take it. Mm. Mm. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's true inspiration, you know, and because of that, you know, we've got a good team behind us now. And, uh, you know, it's, it's teaching them how to cook yeah. free from. Mm. And the guys that now work in a kitchen, also, they don't have any allergies. They mm. don't need to mm. um, learn how to cook. But, you know, they're, they're passionate mm. and mm. they want to know how to cook free from. Mm. And the nice thing is you get fantastic feedback. Oh, yes. God people, does. you know, the, the people who, with allergies who come to you and get these wonderful meals are just raving about it, you we, know. And, and yeah. And they're great <laughs> ambassadors for you, too. As they well, are, they are they? indeed, yes. Um, so we... As Sarah mentioned, you know, we never set out to be a free-form restaurant. Mm. We just set out to be gluten-free. Yeah. But uh, you know, after winning the awards uh, last year, mm. that that's set the bar yeah. a little bit higher. So um, yeah, we we went to go for it, and yeah. we, we succeeded. Yeah, that that's actually really good. It's really nice for us to hear because a couple of people have said that mm. um, that we went in order to enter the awards. We have a really, really rigorous form. We have this online form which goes on forever, doesn't it? Absolutely forever. Um, and it's, it, it's designed to tease out how much you actually know about allergy, how much you really understand about, well, you understand about cross-contamination, you understand about allergen control and all of these things. Um, and part of the reason for doing it was not just to test you, but also to educate people who are new to this area if they actually ploughed their way through this form, we had several people come back to us at the beginning and say, do you know, I'd never thought of that. What a good idea. We should do that. Which was, mm. you know, was really good. was what it was all about. I was very mean. There was a big group. I don't know where they were from. Uh, were they Chinese students or something here before? And they were all, their tongues Hello? were hanging out. And we were up here going, oh, this is just delicious, weren't they? <laughs> very sad. I'm afraid it's all to do with health and safety. That, of course, we can't, you know... Yeah, yeah, isn't it brilliant? Yeah, so this is lovely. one, Mac. One, your your nutrition. What's your official title? Uh, head of nutrition and dietetics for Sodexo. Yeah. So we've got a stand just behind there as well. Nice. Yep. Thank and you. Sodexo are our sponsors for the Free From Eating Out Awards. <laughs> and very thanks to one, they actually took us up last year when it was brand new, uh, when it had never happened before, and she persuaded them this was a good thing. So they sponsored it last year and again this year, maybe next year too. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> we'll have to see. We'll have to see. So. And it, it, you would never kind of think, oh, it's aubergine, isn't it? The, yeah, the, we've got aubergine The there, big yeah. chunk, you think, oh, that must be my beef or my lamb or whatever. Of course, it's aubergine chunks. But it means it looks like a perfectly normal, a perfectly normal curry, indeed, doesn't it? Indeed, no one would yeah. think, oh, that's a vegan curry. Yeah. It's absolutely delicious and looks... Exactly. You know, it, as well as the lentils, though, you know, it's, it, there's bags of flavours and textures mm. going on there. Food doesn't have to be boring. Ooh. We've, we're very excited because we've literally, as of the last two days, got ourselves finally a YouTube channel. So all of this is going up on YouTube tomorrow, maybe. So you want all of this here? Yep. Let's make them feel really, really jealous that they're not allowed any and we're eating it all. Uh, going to have a... Yeah, try it. Okay. Well, Mark, what's in the rice again? Can you just talk us through the rice? In the rice there, we've got uh, black mustard seeds, uh, black lentils, yellow lentils, red lentils, uh, mm. turmeric, uh, ginger, mm. garlic, and onion. Mm. What's the the, mm, the spice in that? It's lovely. Uh, it's just literally black onion seeds. Is that it? That is the only thing that's in there. Jolly nice black onion seeds. I don't think I've ever even used them. Mm. Well, uh, the black onion seeds are what you traditionally use in, a, in an arm bread. Isn't that good? That's good, yeah. Mm. I mean, if you close your eyes, it tastes just like an all naan. You wouldn't think that's gluten free, vegan. Instead of the flour? Um, yeah, um, infamous Dove's Farm self raising oh, gluten free flour. Yeah, that's uh, self raising flour from Dove's Farm. Dove's Farm has done so much for the free from industry. Those are really delicious because they're soft. Mm. They're soft, but they're not kind of pappy soft. They're just not hard and chewy. And, and they're lovely flavour. Oh. It's really delicious, Mark. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. thank you guys very much indeed.